Hello everybody, welcome back to Selfishly Wander. Today I want to talk to you about my experience with G Adventures. I started off by doing this video totally on tour groups as a whole, and I realized I really want to pare it down to just my experience since there are so many tour groups out there, and I want to talk about how, what a great time I had with G Adventures. Before I get totally into what G Adventures is, I just want to talk a little bit about guided travel. Going into it, guided travel I thought was going to be like a high school field trip. I thought it was going to be people watching me 24-7, not being able to do exactly what I wanted to on my time and I'm so glad that that's not my experience. I can't speak for every tour company, but the majority of companies follow the same sort of outline of they figure out the basics, you know, your accommodation, your transportation, maybe some meals, and the rest is really up to you. And I really love that. I think when you're traveling so many different places, especially if you're going at a pretty quick pace, it can be so difficult to plan out all the hotels you're staying at, all the places you want to eat, and it just becomes so much when you're traveling quickly that it's great to have someone else that just takes care of all of it for you. It also gives someone else there to have accountability for you. It's so much safer. Um, you have people to go out with if you're a solo traveler. Always just nice to have a group that you get to know better than just for a couple of days. I love guided travel. I am so sad that there's not more information out there about the benefits of guided travel. I think a lot of people do have that image in their mind that they want to go, they want to be by themselves, but once you get there and you're on your own, it can be really lonely. So definitely take a look into it. It's something maybe you just want to add on. If you're already traveling and you want to add it on, it can be so cheap to add on if they have a spot in a tour last minute. Um, just give them an email or a phone call and see if they still have room in certain tours. So now about G Adventure specifically. Before I actually went on my tour group, I was planning on going with a different company on a totally different tour and it ended up not working out. And G Adventures was great to communicate with. I got in contact with them and pretty soon after I was able to book my tour. So I did Rome to Berlin on a shoestring. It was 15 days, I believe, total, maybe a day or two longer, and I got into Rome a couple of days early, and I was so nervous about it at the start. Uh, I had never done a tour group before. I didn't know if everyone there was going to be a single person like myself, and I ended up having the best time. I'm so glad that I did it. First thing you should know with G Adventures is I love them. The tour group was great, but sometimes the site can be a little bit scary. So after putting in all my information and things, I didn't get any sort of immediate itinerary of the dirty details of exactly where we would be staying or places that we were going to be going or anything. So don't worry about that. I have to say the first night that I met up with my tour group, they gave me all the information that I needed. Everyone that I met was so friendly. There were about 15 of us total and I would say there were two groups of two. So friends who had come together, but other than that, everyone else was a single traveler and it was one of their YOLO tours, which means it's for people from 18 to 35. So it was the perfect age group for myself. I'm 22. I think I was 20 or 21 at the time, and um, it was really great. And our tour guide, she was great as well. She was a native of Poland, and so she spoke a lot of the languages that people were going to be speaking out in the Eastern European countries. And we even visited Poland, and she showed us some of her favorite little spots that we wouldn't have ever heard of otherwise. The G. Duchess experience is definitely a very loosely guided tour. They have your hotels or hostels that you'll be staying at, your transportation in between cities, and really that's pretty much it. Everything else in between, they give you suggestions on, you know, this would be a great thing to see in this city or this would be a great place, but it's totally optional for you. Every time we were in a new city, our tour guide would give us a little walking tour of the area and we would get to see where the grocery store was, where the ATM was, just sort of get our bearings and understand where we wanted to explore. But this again was totally optional. It was just so great to have someone there who could guide you in the direction when you had never been there before. It was also great to have this group of people. My group and I, we're still all really great friends. We have a group chat where we talk about our future travel plans. We're all friends on Facebook. Everyone was so great and I think it really came down to the fact that G Adventures has this very wholesome vibe to them. There's definitely other tour companies that are about partying or tour companies that are about um, really just making money off the people who are there, but I really got this very down-to-earth vibe from everybody who worked there who I had the pleasure of interacting with, 
and they have their own charity as well. Throughout the tour, our tour guides actually promoted a lot this program called Planetera, which has to do with giving back to the earth, giving back to the communities that we're working with, and making sure that we're traveling responsibly. And it was so awesome. At the end of every country that we visited, we would have different currencies a lot of the time. And so if you had leftover euros or a couple of extra coins or somewhere that it really wouldn't be worthwhile for you to go exchange, they would take them and that money would go directly to this fund that they have started. So that just, I think, shows their commitment to their values and they really understand the type of travelers that they're working with. And I think that's what drew in so many great travelers. All in all, I would highly recommend doing a tour group, especially with G Adventures. I am so sad that I cannot be going on one of their tours to Asia. It just ended up not working out with my plans. But I hope that you guys do. I will link them down below so you can get some more information on them. They have so many tours. They have ones that are focused for young people, one that are focused for uh, National Geographic sort of photography journeys. They have ones that are adventurous, sort of hiking and athletic. They have all different kinds of things. So I really hope you guys check them out. I hope that you find even if it's not with G Adventures, a tour group that really works well for you. I love tour groups. I'm doing another one in a week. And I'm so happy that I found guided travel because I think without it as a solo traveler, being on the road alone 24 seven can be so lonely. And I think it's great if you do it as your primary means of travel or if you use it as sort of an add on to just break up your travel and meet some other people that maybe then you go off to do some travel of your own with. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you tune back soon. Check out my older videos. One of my videos is actually from my G Adventures tour. I'll link it down below. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Have fun traveling. Hey, soul sister. Oh.